It's not just who you know, but it's how you know them and how you care about them and develop those personal relationships with them. The book, How to Win Friends, Influence People, that we all read, really can get us to the third floor, the niceties of using someone's name, writing thank you notes, looking someone in the eye, handshaking, saying thank you, speaking about their interests, seeming like you're genuinely interested in them when you're just trying to be genuinely interested in them. That can only get you to the third floor. And it might get you some you know, sales, it might get you you know, salesperson of the year, it might grow your company 5, 10, 20%. You might live your life totally successful, but you've missed what it tastes like to live on the fourth or fifth floor with relationships. There's a Tommy is fantastic. His message is dead on. His whole style is just so unique, different. Instead of like a, uh, a lecturer, it's more of like a conversation that he was having with the audience. I mean, he's just talking to you, you know, in, instead of speaking at you. So what are the things that you need to do to get to the fifth floor? So I started thinking about that, and there are really four or five things that came to my head. To get to the level of the fifth floor relationship, it has to move beyond the niceties of using people's names and saying thank you and speaking about other people's interests. You have to advance people. So the first one is the law of advancement. Advancing others. When you think about it, advancing others. When you go into a relationship, a business relationship, most people think, what can I get from that person? You know, my job is to take so-and-so to lunch because I'm going to sell them my widget. I want to push my sale. That's a transaction. But how can I help advance them? So when you're having lunch with your client, are you listening to what their business needs? Are you listening that their daughter lost their job, that you might know someone in the industry that can help them? Are you listening that their son um, is uh, in Peter Pan in the seventh grade, and are you going to go to his play the following week? I mean, advancing their family, their friends, that's the important thing about, about fifth floor relationships. When you go into these relationships, you can't go into what's in it for me. You have to go into, how can I advance this person and be successful? And I remember when I first moved to Colorado and I was getting in the fundraising business to start my own nonprofit. I thought he was wonderful because I have a lot of things that are going on in my life right now and it really touched me. It's not about the titles, it's who you are and what you can bring to the table. And he reinforced all of that and I think that's awesome. Bringing me back to thinking about different clients that I need to talk to, different ways of talking to them, relating to them, sparking new relationships. I think it's great, not only for myself, but I have a 19 year old at home and there's some pointers that I've taken in there that I could pass on to him. He makes connecting with people and, and networking and that kind of realm very easy and very effortless. It's very genuine and from the heart. I love him. He seems like the nicest guy ever and he has such amazing ideas. The next one um, is the law of influence. I mean each of us have this influence. Each of us knows different people. Each of us has an influence of power that has relationships with different people that can help people. But most of us we use that influence for our gain. For example, when I talked about Charlie Monfort that owns the Rockies, you know, you would think that I would call him up all the time and say, Charlie, can I get free tickets here? When the World Series, when we played the Boston Red Sox a couple years ago, can I get free tickets here? I've never once called Charlie up and asked for free tickets. I don't use my influence for, 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 um, for self-gain. But I can tell you, I've called Charlie 10, 15, 20 times and used my influence to help other people. Can I get tickets for this nonprofit group? Can I help? Can you, can you get one of your players to speak at this group? And I always use my influence to helping others. So Charlie looks at me and sees me in a different light.